So I just spent the night here in Maravilla. The weather today is amazing again. And uh, the fishermen just came in from their night fishing. So we're gonna check what they have brought in and see what we can do for lunch. All right, let's check it out. Hey guys, so we're now by the beach and uh, we're gonna prepare lunch. I managed to get some nice lapo lapo, which is a local fish. And then uh, we're gonna make something called papillot, which is basically a uh, fish with uh, vegetables and uh, ginger, garlic, lemongrass, wrapped in uh, parchment paper and uh, in foil. And then we close it hermetically and then we just put it on top of the grill and the fish and the vegetables will just steam inside and keep all the flavors in. All right, so let's start. Okay guys, so we're gonna start by filleting our fish. Okay, so, so to fillet the fish, we just cut right here around the head, so behind the, the fin. And then you follow the head bone, right? Just until the middle. Then we're gonna make an incision right here by the dorsal bone, the backbone. Okay, so you just follow it with your knife. Let the knife do the work, don't force it. And then with your thumb, you just go under and delicately with your knife, you just follow the bone, right? Just let your knife do the work, don't force it. The flesh is very, very fragile of the lapo lapo. So if you force it, you're gonna break the flesh. And then you'll have a very mushy fillet of fish. Just like that. And then you get your fillet. Okay, and now we have both our fillet taken away from the fish. And as you can see, now we have fish bones pretty much clean. So you can use this to make soup or whatever dish you want. It's perfect for bouillabaisse. And now we're gonna go on our vegetables. So we're gonna use carrots and uh, spring onion. So basically we want to cut a thin, thin stripe so it cooks fast when we do the steaming process. Right, now you make very thin stripes of carrots. Okay, so just put this on the side. Then we're gonna cut our ginger. So same, we just make thin stripes. And then our garlic. Just smash it so you can peel it easier. Up. This one no need to cut, we we'll just put it whole. And then we're gonna finish with our lemon. So we cut very, very thin slice of lemon just to put on top of our fish. So this will make your fish very fragrant. Okay, so to start our papillot, we have a layer of foil, then a layer of parchment paper. Then we're gonna put our first vegetable, which is a carrot. Don't forget to season. Every time you put something in your papillot, we season. Okay, then we're gonna put our spring onion. Then a few slices of ginger. A little bit of lemongrass, which we're gonna cut to size. Right there, up. Little seasoning. Then our garlic, which 
we're just gonna break like this okay and then we're gonna add uh, then we're gonna add a little bit of butter right just to nourish your vegetables so I'm French so we put a lot of butter little bit of white wine up and then we're gonna put our fish so you can put both fillet huh? skin side down just like that there you go nice seasoning salt paper paper pepper we're gonna put some olive oil more white wine more butter and then we're gonna finish with our lemongrass ginger garlic and our slices of lemon just like that yeah and then we're gonna close the papillot okay so basically you bring it up like that and then you're gonna close it hermetically so you start from the side and you basically roll it on itself okay make sure it's airtight So no, no steam will escape when you cook it. Okay, and there you go. And then we're just gonna put this on the grill. Okay, and just let it cook slowly for a good 15, 15 minutes, depending on the strength of your fire. So very important thing guys, when you make a barbecue on the beach, please do it on a food tray or I don't know, on top of some aluminium paper. So, you know, when you're done with the barbecue, you, just, you can just pack up and, and clean up the sand. You know, because if you do your your bonfire or your barbecue right on top of the sand and you know it leaves a mess and it's not nice for the next people who, who use the beach yeah so please you know always clean as you go and don't leave any trace when you do something in nature all right guys so our papillot is done we're gonna unveil it together gosh i'm so excited be so yummy. Mmm, the smell. Wow, oh, look at that. So beautiful. Oh, how can I describe the smell, man? So fragrant, you know? You can feel the ginger, the lemon, the lemongrass. So beautiful. Alright guys, so let's give it a try. Man, this looks very, very, very good. So you know it's a nice recipe you can do with your loved ones when you go camping or when you go to the beach. It's beautiful. I, I really want to show you. <laughs> Come here. Alright, so see our fish is nicely cooked I don't like the fish when it's overcooked you know I like it when it's just like that mm. it's so fragrant so fresh I mean that fish was caught last night no? I just bought it this morning I want to try the veggies oh look at those carrots 
You know, they just cooked in the juice, you know, in the white wine and the butter. Mm. Man, I'm telling you, it's been a while since I ate carrot like this. It, I mean, I know it may sound stupid, but they really taste like carrot, you know, it's so, so strong. Mm. I think because of the white wine, you know, and the butter, and oh, it's so yummy. Look at that. Mm. I really can't express how good this is. Mm. A piece of garlic. Mm. Superb. We're eating. It's got a lot. Lemon. Oh. oh my god! Mm. <laughs> <This is> good. <laughs> She's speechless.